advertising. And at 4, Mr. Mitsui is in from Tokyo. Oh, good. Yeah, and I made an appointment for you tonight for dinner at 7 with Jack Kiley. What? You did what? I'm going to check the APB on Daniel and Rogers, see if there's any news. You're worried about Harley, huh? Damn straight I am. She's out there on her own. Kayla St. John, and if he is Jean's killer, she gets to him before we do it. I have a little faith in Harley. I'm sure if she finds them, she won't tell Holly anything about Daniel until she gets her alone. What if she can't? What if Thorpe's there, too? I mean, one of these guys is a murderer, and the way Harley takes risks before she thinks... I don't know why she didn't come to me before she took off. I think she gave up trying to get you to believe her. She says he's down at the general store, doesn't know how to get here. Uh, hello, yes, then, would, would you go down to the country store and lead him back up to the cabin? He'd certainly appreciate it. Contact lenses? No. Okay. Aren't you um, going to ask me who to contact in case of... Um... Oh, yes. That was my next question. I know. I'm a nurse myself. One of the best. Oh. Hi. Where do you... Hi, Peter. Ed, how are you doing? Okay. Lillian, how are you? You're a lucky lady to have one of the best medical doctors in the state at your beck and call. Oh, I know. She certainly is. Now, I've looked over your test results, and uh, you're in great shape. Now, here's the consent form. You don't need to roll the details, doctor. Miss Raines is a nurse. I know, but even seasoned medical professionals can have questions concerning their own surgery. Now, Nurse Wayne can page me if you have any questions. She does. I'll try to answer them. All right, I'll leave you two alone, and you can go over it then. Um, Lillian, I'll see you in surgery. Thank you. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Oh, no, I don't think so. All right, then I'll, I'll leave you with your husband. Oh, no. He's not my husband. What did I I don't do? know how many times I've told you never, ever to make a personal appointment for I'm me. Sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't no, make a personal I mean, you're in the middle of a deal with Jack Kiley. The deal is off. There is when? Since last night. I never want to see that man again. Why? I... I I mean, his company is a really good company for Spalding. It's not a question of his business assets. I'm not concerned about that. Well, what's the matter with him? He seemed like a really nice guy. He sent you flowers. It's... <sighs> Things aren't always as advertised. Could we please not talk about Jack Kylie anymore? Excuse me. Whatever you say. I, I, you know, this is just extraordinary to have this amount of work to deal with and nobody else is here. Do you know where Alexandra is? Or, or where Alan Michael exactly is taking his honeymoon? I mean, I have to deal with all of this alone? Well, most of these messages are from Fletcher and Billy. They have been calling you all morning. Oh. Well, that can we. Vanessa, what is it you aren't telling me? Nothing. Look, 
I, I know that the both of us try very hard not to bring our personal relationship to work, but I am your best friend, and I know when you're upset, and right now, you're upset. I'm very sorry. I shouldn't have uh, jumped all over you the way I did. That was wrong. Listen, you don't have to apologize. I, it's just, I mean, the, the whole reason that I set up this moment with Jack Kiley... What is wrong with you? Don't you have ear ears? I don't want to see him. I don't want to talk about him. Don't you understand? No, I don't. I'm trying to. Well, all right, then. I'll tell you. He tried to rape me. Let's see, my trifle odd you that somebody who comes from these parts wouldn't know where the Bower's cabin is? Yeah. Well, maybe he's new to the area, you know. Well, maybe. Well, in either case, I guess I have to go down and pick him up if we're going to be married today, huh? Yeah. Now, listen, don't you go anywhere. I'll be back in a flash. <laughs> Sorry to scare you with the horn. I didn't want you backing into me, you know. I'm not supposed to care about material things, but that little hot rod is my pride and joy. <laughs> I've had it ever since seminary. I don't know what I'd do if anything happened to it. That's uh, quite all right. You're here now. We can take care of business. That's all that matters. Holly, this is Reverend Boone. Hello. Uh, that was fast. Oh, well, I didn't have to go down the hill to get him at all. He found him sway up here all on his own. How did you do that? Oh, it was a piece of cake. I know the Bauer cabin quite well. As a matter of fact, my wife and I have had dinner here every summer since I was assigned to the ministry. Oh. Hey, you got time for lunch? Hey, you doing? Yeah, I've got about an hour to kill for my next appointment. Yeah. What, you got a problem over in engineering? Yeah, I don't always come to you when I have problems, you know. Uh, yeah, well, uh, you know, I'm so used to putting out fires that I just figured you must be burning somewhere. Yeah, well, I'm not. I just reserved a handball court over at the club. Thought I'd give you a couple pointers. Handball? Well, since when do you play handball? Since today. Figure I'm at Lewis, I might as well do like the Lewises do. Oh, come on, it's not that bad over here, is it? Well, as long as they don't have to put, learn how to play golf. <laughs> golf? Well, you know, I don't know, but they think you might look cute in plaid pants and a... Yeah, a little beanie. Yeah, you better be kidding. Yeah, I don't like golf either. I only like it when I can drive the cart real fast and scare them mm -mm, out of the pros. <laughs> <laughs> but handball now. <clears throat> handball, I'm good at. Yeah, and you're modest, too. Mm -hmm. It's good to see you're going to be carrying on our Lewis tradition here. Yeah, what's that? Father Lewis whooping Lewis boy's butt. Oh, you think you can whoop me? I think so. Let's go right oh, now. Okay. Right. <laughs> Tell you what, you want to head you over to the little club and I'll meet you over there. I gotta do a couple things first. All right. Any leads on Cooper yet? Keep looking. I guess there's a chance everything will be okay as long as Cooper stays out of sight. Any word? No, not yet. Damn. Harley has to be all right. She just has to be. Sam, what can I say? We should have listened to you more than we did. I'm sorry. I know, but it's not like I never gave you reason to doubt me. Still, that's no excuse. I'll try and make it up to you. You'll make it up to me if you catch Daniel. Daniel, yes, but uh, there's a possibility that Roger is still our man. But the murder weapon is Daniel's plaque. Honey, Roger easily could have stolen that plot from Daniel, and he had every reason in the world to try and frame him for murder. Look, let's just cut the debate on who actually struck the blow. The problem is Harley's out there, and so are the two of them. Look, Mallet, you are not the only one who's worried. I've got someone out there I care about, too. Well, I don't understand. See, I never called my secretary. Now, did the woman who called mention me by name? Uh, no, come to think of it, she didn't. She simply referred to you as the Reverend. Well, somebody sure got their signals crossed. You know, I called several different ministers. You were the only one who could show up. Maybe it was somebody else's secretary. <laughs> Maybe so. Look, I'm not one to gossip, but that secretary over at Our Lady of Perpetual Sorrow is kind of out there. <laughs> one time she scheduled a, a funeral at the same time as a wedding. <laughs> I'm sure you'll understand the fallout from that. Right. Well, I'll tell you, we'll ask my wife if she knows anything when she gets here. Your wife's coming? 
Abby, she's going to be your witness. Oh, well, uh, when will we expect her? Soon, soon. Uh, she just had to drop our daughter off at dance class. Well, I don't want to put this off any longer than we have to. Uh, can we go ahead with the ceremony without her? Well, uh, witness is a legal necessity. But we'll, we'll put the time to good use. Have either of you had any premarital counseling? No. Is that a legal necessity also? No, but it's my custom, and I think you'll get a world of good out of it. Oh. Okay, well, uh... I'll make some tea. I'll get that. Hello? Charlie, this is Harley Cooper. Please, please don't let on that it's me. Please listen to me. You have to get out of that cabin right now. If you stay there, you're in big trouble. Why are you saying that? It's Daniel. He's dangerous, Holly. I hate to be the one to tell you this, but we have definite proof. Definite proof that Daniel is the one who killed Jean. Sam and I... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Sam? Yeah. Well, she's not here with me. She's back in Springfield right now, waiting on the lab results. I can't believe you were bothering me with this. Now, Sam's delusions are one thing. No, no, Sam is not deluded. Look. I'm sorry she's led you off on a wild goose chase, but I'm not going to listen anymore. Oh, Holly. Oh, Holly. Don't hang up on me. Is that, uh, Mrs. Boone? Uh, no, that was, uh, just somebody trying to sell something. We buy anything? Well, why don't we try to get on with the ceremony before we have any more interruptions? Yeah. Don't worry. We'll sit down with the Reverend and have our tea, and Mrs. Boone should be here any minute now. Right. Now, sit down. We'll, uh, start with individual goals. See if they mesh together. This is unbelievable. Jack, Kylie tried to rape you? Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, but it was awful. <clears throat> oh, wow. I, I, it's so hard to believe. I mean, he seems like such a nice guy. He's so well-mannered and well-spoken. I know. I know. I've been thinking about it. I've been wondering at... Maybe it was my fault. You know, just, uh, maybe I gave him the wrong signals without even knowing it. it. He said that I was asking for... Oh, for heaven's sake. Well, that's what he said. The... <sighs> he said that I was coming on to him and that I was... That I was... That I had a reputation because, um... I mean, I did date Michael Clark and, and Clint Hopkins, but I didn't do anything, you know, to make him think that I was physically attracted to him at I'm all. I'm sure you didn't, Vanessa. <sighs> okay, you, you believe me. Yes. And Fletcher believes me. Billy doesn't believe me. You told Billy? Well, I didn't mean to, but I just... I didn't tell him the name. I just... Look, Vanessa, I'm sure Billy believes you. Well, I'm not so sure. I mean, I think that there is really a part of him that blames me because... He was so angry with me that I went out with other men and... I think he would very much like to say, I warned you, I told you so. Look, Vanessa, I mean, whatever's happened between you and Billy, I'm sure he cares about you. I'm not so sure. One time I thought I knew who he was, but I don't anymore. Do you have any idea how really lucky you are to be married to a man like Ed?
must talk. You're being silly, I know. It's just that these consent forms are so cold and so impersonal. I, I never realized what my patients must feel. Ed, they're asking me to put my life, my future, into someone else's hands. I know. Dr. Ives is one of the best oncological surgeons around. But it's my body. It's not his body. I'm... I'm the one who has breast cancer, not him. I'm being so silly. I mean, I hand out these consent forms every day. And if some patient acted like I did, I'd walk out, get their doctor, and we'd convince them that they should put their trust in us and have them sign. But I think of writing my name on that blank line. I... But that's because it's different when it's you or someone you love who's the patient. It's different. And I'm a professional. But you're also a human. Look, it's not easy to put your faith in someone you don't even know. We ask our patients to do it every day, don't we? <laughs> you got me there. I'll tell you, the one good thing that's going to come out of this whole horrible mess is that I am going to be so sensitive to my patients' needs when I get back to work. I can't imagine you being any better in that department. Do you really mean that? You're the best. You always were, you always will be. So are you. I don't know how I'd be able to get through this without you here. Well, you stood by me when I had my problems. I couldn't be anyplace else. Thank you, Ed. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you. Okay. Pa? No. Still not good, huh? No, it's just that I always tell my patients that they'd better read everything before they sign it. I'm ignoring my own very good advice, right? Well, you take all the time you need. Read. And what would you do? You have breast cancer. Surgery is your only viable option. But if, um, Dr. Ives finds that the cancer is more extensive than a lumpectomy, um, by my signing this consent form, I'm giving him the right for partial or radical mastectomy. I could wake up with my entire breast gone and half of my chest muscles. You only have to give your consent to the lumpectomy. Dr. Ives finds that that hasn't gotten all the cancer. Then you can deal with the next step later. very good and you've just got to trust that he will make the right decision when he finds out how extensive the cancer is or I'm or he's not you know Ed, I know this I know this rationally and I know it intellectually but inside I, I'm just so scared you know I, oh, I do you understand of this? course I mean yes I, I try then, then why don't you make the decision for me when I'm under under I'll ask Dr. Ives to consult with you. I can't make that decision for you. Why not? I don't know. I just can't. I, I can't. Yes, you can, Ed. I trust your judgment completely. He's your doctor. I'm not your doctor. I'm your friend. I can't be objective with you any more than I could be with Maureen, Michelle. I can't do it. But you, you know me. He doesn't know me. I mean, if he had to do a radical procedure, you, you could put yourself in my place, and he couldn't. Please. You're just letting your fears run away with you now. You 
Okay, then you can put my mind at ease, please. If he has to do a radical procedure, he'll consult with you. Are you sure about this? Positive. Okay. If it's anything more than a simple lumpectomy, I will talk to Dr. Ives and I will try to figure out what you would want to do. <sighs> Thank you. Sweetie, I'm going to leave you alone now so you can get some rest. Oh, no, Ed, please. Don't leave me alone, please. to accept the things I cannot change. Wisdom. Courage. It's right, honey. Courage. Uh, excuse me, Vanessa, um, did you get my messages? Yes, I got your messages. I just haven't had time to call you back. Yeah, well, you see, I got kind of worried when uh, I couldn't get a hold of you. I was, uh, are you okay? Yeah, I don't have time for this. Oh, hold on a second. Just don't, don't shut me up. Why? Because you're starting to feel a little guilty about what you did this morning? Well, I'm sorry. I don't have time to make you feel better. I've got a company to run. Cancel that appointment. I'll be in accounting. Okay. Uh, Billy, if you'll excuse me, I, I have a lot of work to do. I can see that she told you, Maureen. Yes, she did. Oh, good. I'm glad, because I thought maybe she didn't have anybody to talk to. But how is she really? Well, how do you think she is, Billy? She was nearly raped. Yeah, I know. That's... That's... Oh, wow, what? She's right now. I, I feel guilty. I'm, I wish I had been there to help her. I wish she'd have called me to help her. And you would have gone if she had? Well, of course I would have. What kind of question is that? Well, I mean, you did leave her standing at the altar almost two years ago. Yeah, but I was drinking. That's different. Yes, and what's your excuse now? You've gone on with your life. You've gotten married. And if Vanessa so much as looks at another man, you accuse her of being easy, of being an unfit oh, wait, mother. Wait, wait, wait. I was just doing that because I was afraid this was going to happen. Yeah, well, you know, I think it's something else. I think because you can't have her, you don't want anybody no, else to no, have no, her No, 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 no. you have any idea what your marrying Nadine did to her? What it did to Vanessa's self-esteem or self-confidence? This doesn't have anything to do with my marrying Nadine. It doesn't? Well, I think you ought to think about that. And when you get it thought out and figured out, you let me know. I don't understand how two good people who loved each other so much could have gotten a divorce in the first place. Well, I don't know. I, I've thought the same thing myself a hundred times, but... It, Police Department. Hi, uh, is that Detective Mallet there, please? Yeah, just one minute. 
Uh, he must have stepped out. Uh, you want to hold? Ma'am, you want to leave a message? Uh, uh, yeah, actually. Um, tell him that Cadet Cooper, I mean, um, Harley Cooper called, and, uh... Yeah, and what? Uh... Actually, just, just, I'll try him back later, all right? Thanks. Hey, Mallet, you just missed a call. A lead on Thorpe? <laughs> no such luck. I think it was just some former student wanted to shoot the breeze. Which one? Uh, Harley Cooper? Wait a minute, you had Cooper on the line? You let her get away? Why didn't you find me? I'm sorry, I didn't know it was that important. I would have. Look, never mind. Did she leave a number? No, she didn't. Did she say where she was? No, look, she said she'd call back. I'm when? So when? She didn't say. Look, I'm sorry. It's okay. Hey, see, at least we know she's all right. Yes, yeah, so far. Would somebody tell me what is going on here? Why am I here? Well, this is your big chance. Your last chance to tell us what we want to know. What is he talking about? I, I barely know Harley Cooper. We brought you here because Mr. Thorpe has disappeared along with Holly and Daniel. We think Roger's gone after them. Oh, well, that wouldn't surprise me, considering the way Roger feels about Holly. Yeah, well, there's another possibility. That Thorpe is using this as a cover to bolt himself. And we got an APB on him and so far not a trace. When you were working for Roger, did he ever mention anything about a way of getting out of this situation if it got too sticky? No. You expect us to believe that Thorpe didn't have an escape plan? No, but if, if he did, he didn't tell me about it. You're right. Look, it's standard operating procedure. They, they train us at the agency to play things very close to the vest. Don't they also train you to lie for your superiors? Yes. But I'm telling you the truth. I, I didn't even know Roger was out of town until you told me. I just don't buy it. Well, it's the truth. I haven't even talked to Roger since the day I told him he was a suspect in Gene's murder. Suzanne, I'm warning you that you have been very lucky up to this point, but if you are holding back anything from us, I swear, you will spend the rest of your life behind bars. So you think fast and you think hard, because we want the truth right now. I think Suzanne is telling the truth. You can go. Thank you. If I find out you're lying about Thorpe, I swear. Okay. Oh, I, w I wish there was something I could do to help. Nothing. Where do you think you're going? I can get the chopper. I can cover a lot more ground from the air. Oh, come on, AC. Be reasonable. We have an APB out on St. John and Thorpe. Besides, they could be a hundred miles away from now. It makes more sense just to stay here and go over every possible place that Daniel and Holly could have stopped. Great. I'll get on it. I just wish Cooper would call back. I mean, I just have to talk to her before it's too late. more than I've ever loved any woman. And I'd do just about anything to keep her. I'm glad to hear it. Commitment is the cornerstone of any good marriage. Along with trust. You trust Daniel, don't you, Holly? I'm sorry. Well, Reverend Boone was just asking if you trust me. Of course she does. I mean, if she didn't, she wouldn't be here. The truth is, uh... I have given Holly some cause to doubt me recently, but she is stuck by me when a lot of other women wouldn't have. And this from a, a woman who could have any man she wanted. I think that's what I love most about her. Her devotion. Her willingness to stand by me in any situation. Well, that's a good start. I want to talk to you. Excuse me for a minute. Sweetheart, what is 
Is it, uh, you, you don't like the Reverend? Is I have to tell you something. Uh, you don't have, uh, jitters now, do you? I lied to you before. What about? About the phone call. It wasn't the salesperson, it was Harley Cooper. Harley, uh... How did she know where we were? I don't know. What did she want? She... She told me I should stay as far away from you as I can. How am I supposed to defend myself against this kind of slander if I have no idea what they're saying? They didn't say what kind. You know why? Because they, they don't have any proof. That's why. There's no proof. This is all Sam's doing. She, she, she wants to prevent you from being with me because she can't have me herself. Okay, calm down. Calm? How am I supposed to be calm? We left Springfield to get away from this kind of harassment, and now this... I know, I know it's, uh, it's unnerving. How did Holly get the number in the first place? I just told you, I don't know. Well, I guess that's it then, huh? I mean, the damage is done. I didn't say I believed her. Sorry, I spoiled things for you. Sweetheart, you didn't spoil anything. This is my wife, Abby. Pleased to meet you. And congratulations. Thank you. I hope you'll be as happy as we've been. Thank you. I hope so. What took you so long to get here? Oh, I'm sorry about that, but you know my car, it just will not start in this cold weather. No, oh, that's okay. I've been talking to Daniel and Holly about the finer points of marriage. I think we got to keep her here. Yeah, thanks, Reverend. So, now that uh, you're here, we can get on with the ceremony, Oh, yeah, sure thing. Um, honey, did you call Edna and ask directions about getting here? Your secretary? No, why? I'm oh, just curious. These folks got a call saying I needed directions here, but, oh, you know, Edna, she mixes things up. I thought maybe she got us confused. No, I haven't talked to her today. Oh, uh, you want to come by the fire? Oh, yeah. It's 
not important. I just wanted to meet him for lunch. I'll, I'll call him later. Thanks. Bye. Okay, um, I'm gonna go down to accounting and get that report for you. Good, thanks. That's my number one priority. Vanessa, are you sure you're all right? Yes. Yes, I'm fine. to play like such a crazy person? Yeah, well, I won, didn't I? Yeah, but you might actually kill me doing it. Hey, look, how come everything's all of a sudden my fault around here? Hey, did I do something wrong or what? No, no, boy, no, you didn't do nothing wrong. I'm the one who did something wrong. I'm just... just frustrated, that's all, and I'm real frustrated. for just maybe 30 seconds and get some fresh air. Well, Danny, I'll give you some company. No, 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 it's okay. I'll, I'll just be a minute, I promise. I'm sorry to hold things sure. up. I'm positive. I'll, I'll just be a minute. Would you like some tea? Oh, I would love some. Thank you. Okay, our man says Blake hasn't moved. That doesn't mean she won't. Yeah. Mal, is that you? Cooper, where the hell are you? Look, I don't have time for a lecture from you, okay? But I'm standing right down the street from where Holly and Daniel are staying. Cooper, just listen I to me. I heard that Daniel's dangerous, but she wouldn't listen to Harley. me. Harley! Look, don't yell at me. Just send help. Please, Please. I know you don't believe I me. I believe you, damn it. I believe you, and I want to help you. Where are you? You believe me? St. John could be the killer. Mallet, thank goodness. I have been so scared and so worried. But we've got him this time, right? We finally got him. by Vitruvian Designs. Be sure to be with us tomorrow for another...